good afternoon. Has anybody seen how crazy juvenile ducks eat? Look at this. They eat like they can't get it down quick enough. So crazy. We were just always keeping food out. And now that they're almost full grown, which is shocking in like almost four weeks, um, we do a morning, a afternoon snack, a morning feeding, an afternoon snack, and then a big evening meal. And they're doing really well. Everybody's super healthy and strong. And then they forage all day in the chicken yard. And they've been really enjoying that. It's, it's neat to watch them eat. And we really get a kick out of watching our ducks. Okay, the quacklets are back in from having their dinner. Now they're going to have a drink and go swimming. Look at them. Sweeties. Luke's gonna rock Alita, and when he does, a lot of times she'll fall asleep. Is her head, her head's drooping already. Oh my goodness, she is out like a light. I cannot believe that. That's what happens when you're at the bottom of the pecking order. She's like, oh, I, had a, I had a little power nap. That's what happens when you're at the bottom of the uh, pecking order. <laughs> you're tired all the time. Today is our son Luke's 19th birthday. Happy birthday, Luke. We've got a friend over for Luke's birthday. It's been an awesome day. <gasps> Look at the quacklets. <laughs> it's hot today. Oh, Dad, they see that buzzard up there. The quacklets saw it. Hi, guys. <laughs> These girls are very verbal. Look, we got our ducks in a row. They're always in a row. Barely in a row. <laughs> barely. Just barely. Look at him go. We have our friend over and we're showing him all of our farm goodies. Would you close the nesting box? Yes, I'll close the nesting box. Our babies are getting so big. Look at them. Oh, goodness. They like to sneak out at any chance they get. Let's look at these guys in here. Hey. Hi, Roxy. Oh, you guys are making it hard on me. I'm going to have trouble getting you back in. Hi, cat. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, I can't let these guys all get out. It's too hard to get them back in. <gasps> Look at them. They love a touch of freedom. These are supposed to be white leghorns. But sometimes the hatcheries will do a substitution if they don't have enough. And we have a feeling that these are Austro whites. Whoa. Oh my goodness, sorry y'all. It flew over my head and landed on my head for a minute and then went on the perch. 
I didn't, okay, I'm afraid they're gonna try and go out the, hang on one minute guys, I'm gonna turn this off for one minute. Sorry about that, everybody's back in, but one of them flew over my head, then came back and on my head, and then went to the perch, and so it was very startling. But what I was gonna say is, um, a lot of times hatcheries will do substitutions when they don't have enough birds to meet the needs of the orders they have that month. And we suspect these might be Austra whites, uh, which is a mix between a black Australorp male and a white leghorn, which we actually have wanted, so it kind of worked out. And um, they're supposed to be like a white leghorn in every single way, every same attribute except for they are a little bit calmer in their temperament because, of course, white leghorns can be a little flighty sometimes, although we love ours. So, but we'll see when they grow up. And they basically look almost like a white leghorn, except for they'll have a couple of, if you can kind of see that through here, a couple of little spots of black on them, like literally one or two little spots of black. So these girls are super sweet. And, of course, our Baird Rock, um, Roxy is just a sweetheart, too. Super sweet bird. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, I hope everybody has a wonderful Saturday night. Bye.